And just last night in the city of Grand Forks, North Dakota, a group of determined residents fought back against a project planned by a Chinese company suspiciously close to an Air Force base, and they won. Senior National Correspondent Brian Enton is live in Grand Forks. And Brian, the opposition was quite vocal. It was, Nicole. We are outside Grand Forks Air Force Base now. And at the end of the day, this is really a story about everyday American people who took on China, who took on their own city council because they were so worried that this Chinese corn mill was going to go in very, very close to this military base. We all saw the Chinese spy balloon. It got all the attention and is still in the headlines. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck. But 1,700 miles away from where the balloon was shot down, in the middle of America, in Grand Forks, North Dakota, the fight against Chinese spying might not be quite as visible, but look closely, and it's here. What concerns you the most about it being a Chinese company? Well, I mean, it, it just kind of to me is common sense. You read about what China does in the world. I mean, they're not, they're not shy about what their intentions are. You know, they, they, want, they want to take over everything. Lifelong Grand Forks resident Ben Graduleski is talking about Chinese company Fufeng and the 300 plus acres they own on the outskirts of town with plans to build a massive corn mill. So is it this area over here? Correct. It goes, uh, extends past those tanks about a mile north. Keep out signs are on the perimeter of the Chinese owned property, and it's just 12 miles, a straight shot from Grand Forks Air Force Base. What's the main concern with it being this close to the base? Uh, the line of sight, you know, there's a, the base is basically a drone base, uh, and there's a lot of private companies out there developing new technology all the time. U.S. surveillance drones and intelligence, it all happens here. Despite that, for a year, the Grand Fork City Council let the Chinese project continue, even while citizens expressed outrage and organized. The Air Force wrote this letter saying the proposed project presents a significant threat to national security with both near and long term risks of significant impacts to our operations in the area. You asked for him to be dealt with. And it all came to a head at a very heated city council meeting last night. You sold us out to China. How can you defend yourself against a foreign enemy against the United States? You have not only embarrassed yourself, but the people of this community. You should hold your head in utter shame. The Grand Forks residents had enough. There is no way that an apology can suffice for the hell that you have put all of us through. Hell, because the residents say their voices against the Chinese project have gone ignored. What's going on in Grand Forks? How can they not see that this is a Chinese company that's connected to the CCP? A company that has been deemed a national security threat now owns approximately 360 acres in our town because of a transaction that you promoted. Then cheers when after more than a year, the council officially killed the Fufang project after essentially being forced to kill the deal by the federal government. Do you regret supporting the Fufang project? Well, I think in the ultimate, in the end, you know, seeing uh, that it is a national security threat, of course. So the project is stopped in Grand Forks, but this isn't just about North Dakota. The USDA reports Chinese entities own 383,935 acres of U.S. farmland. Over the past five years, Chinese ownership has increased 55 percent. The Chinese owned land is spread out across the country, but almost three quarters of it is in the south. In North Dakota, the residents are celebrating after a hard fought fight, but they realize for America, this is only just the beginning. Chinese owned companies are buying land all over the country. There are other communities either in or going to probably be in the same situation you are in with your town. Right. What's your advice? It, and, and that currently are in, I tell you, even with the Facebook page that we have now, we've heard from people in Arizona and Florida and Texas, you know, how are you doing this? And my advice is saying you have to be a voice. You have to have the courage to step forward. You have to be a, you, you have to form a grassroots group that is willing to fight and keep up the fight. 
And the residents here really did fight and fight and fight. Obviously, a lot of relief now that this project is stopped, but still a lot of unknowns, Nicole, because that Chinese-owned company, while they won't be able to build the mill near this Air Force base, they still currently own uh, the 300 acres of land. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.